What's up, YouTube? I don't know what happened to my camera. In the building. My own with the remote to it. Getting her stuff together, ladies and gentlemen. And we want to thank you for coming to check us out again on a Tuesday night. We're grateful and glad that you all have decided to tune in to us. And to my people in New York, I just want to give you guys my heartfelt condolences. I saw this whole thing about the shooting and the bomb and the, the subway. My heart goes out to you people. I just don't know what we ever going to do about crimes of that nature. I, I get tired of getting up here having to tell you guys I'm sorry and condolences. But, I mean, we live in kind of a dirty world. And having said that, I will always reach out to my people to say, I'm sorry. I wish you speedy recoveries, well wishes to your family. And we have someone on this show right now, Muchella, who lives in New York. Moochie, how are you feeling? How's the sentiment in New York? Talk to us about what happened today. Crazy um, day today. In the today. subway. Crazy mm -hmm. day today. Um, at first they were saying it was a transit worker. Right. But it wasn't. He had a uniform on, came from Philly. <clears throat> you know, we finding out a lot of stuff. They got an all points bulletin out on him. Because mm. he drove a U-Haul all the way from Philly to here. So Damn. I don't know what's his problem, what's his malfunction. I don't know what's up with that, but that's that's all crazy to me. It, it is, man. It is very crazy. And, again, just shout-outs to everybody that's suffering from this dude. Ten people got injured. I think 33 rounds was fired off in a subway. So Yeah, because um, he got on. When he got on, he had a, a, a gas mask on. Right, right. And he waited till the train was in the tunnel. And then he threw the, the, the gas out and then right. started firing shots. The fuck? And that's not, not too far from the Barclays where, every, <laughs> where everybody got off. Wow. So, ladies and gentlemen, all that was said, don't take a minute of your life for granted. Of course, continue to plan for the future, but always live each and every day to its fullest as best you can. And just if you got people that you love and you care about and you adore, make sure that they know that not during Christmas, not during the birthday, but they know it each and every day. Just make it your goal each and every day to the people you care about to reach out to them, say something, do something, be something special to them. And having said that, we'll get on to this Power Book 4 Force review Hope everybody else is doing well in the world tonight. Hopefully me and Moochie can give you guys in New York City a little entertainment for what you might be going through to try to take your mind off what happened. But our hearts is with you, and we'll try to do our part to give you a little entertainment if you're suffering through all that. The question I have, ladies and gentlemen, as we get ready to go into the season finale, how many of y'all think Tariq is going to show up in the season finale? Hmm. I'm going to do my poetry snap. Michael Rainey Jr., the actor that plays Tariq, was in the Star Bar Raleigh, North Carolina this weekend. He let a cat out the bag. And what cat was that? It certainly wasn't the cat of letting us know what the hell is really going to happen. He alluded to some something similar to you might see me on four someday in the future. You know... Typical, typical PC Hollywood, I don't want to spoil nothing answer. But the question here would be, would you guys want to see Tariq in a season finale? Having said that, Mucha, I give you the floor. Do you want to see Tariq in a season finale? I wouldn't mind seeing him. <laughs> I would not mind seeing him. It would be good. I, I look like I'm on the floor, y'all. <laughs> I wouldn't mind seeing him. Okay. I think, might, I, I think it might add some pizzazz to it. But how are they going to work it in? I don't know. And is this true? Or, or are I, they talking-ish? Well, I don't see it happening. Definitely not this season. Especially the way he was talking. You might see me in the future. But ladies and gentlemen, coming to the stage now, the big homie from the D-Town. It's my boy, T. Streams. What up, T? What up, though? How everybody doing? How you doing, Mooch? Hi. I got to fix my chair, y'all. Hold on. Take your time. <laughs> T-Streams, we haven't even had a chance to talk to you about your thoughts on this last episode. So while Moochie's getting everything together, 
let us know how you feel, my brother. How did you like this episode? Likes, dislikes, and how are you feeling about the finale? Say, man, you know, I everybody can hear me, right? Right? Okay. We, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. You good? So you know, uh, man, I just got finished watching it again. You know, and <laughs> um, you know, I'm all the way tuned in. I'm not, you know, the more the the more I get further and further into this, the more I, I find a little hatred for that dude right there. You know, oh, uh, but you know, it's uh, you know, it's is is good. I'm I'm loving it. Um, I ain't only the only thing I really hate is that they waited all the way to the season finale just to start, you know, to to have to push out some some major consequences, you know. Uh, and I was sort of expecting some of that, you know, a few episodes beforehand and stuff. Really, nobody that really had any significance, you know, really got knocked off. So. You know, right, the girl, right. she, you know, she all right, but you know, it is what it is. She was collateral damage. She wasn't one of my favorites, no way. But anyhow, uh, with that being said, you know, I think this was a, I think it was a, a, a very impactful uh, episode, and I think they, I'm not sure if this is something they was trying because you know, now that we look at it, now that we're all the way at the end of the season now it don't quite follow the status quo of some of the other uh other power you know episodes and stuff like that so it seems like they ran the entire the entire season to culminate with this huge mega showdown and going to try to stuff it into one episode and it's going to have everybody like ah you know but you know it is what it is, man. I I really enjoyed it. I don't have nothing, you know. I don't have nothing to say about it except that they should have, you know, they should have killed Walter a long time ago. That old dirty snake. But uh, you know, I think he got what's coming to him. Okay, so let me shout out my boy Eric Iverson, cousin to Alan Iverson, says, check out Courtney Kim interview on Entertainment Weekly on Google. She refused to admit Lauren death and say Tate will be in Ghost Season 3 before his spinoff. Okay, I can see that. I'm sure they're not done getting the recording and all that stuff done, but getting back to what we got going on with this finale, huh. Moochie and T-Streams, the finale is going to be close to 90 minutes. So where hmm. you feel like they, they might have trouble tying things up, I think they might be able to get things tied up. And so as we talk about spoilers and... It's going to uh, be cliffhangers and spoilers. And no, spoilers. Not spoilers. Right. It's going to be cliffhangers. Mm -hmm. I hope not spoilers. I don't want to... That's right. Yeah. That's right. So, 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 Moochie, given everything you know about this story and all the great theories you have put out this season, and you've had another day to digest the trailer, pop-up stuff, do you still think that Tommy and Flynn are related? It's still a chance, y'all. I'm holding on. I'm going go I'm holding on to the last moment with this and I feel <coughs> still feel like it's a chance. Okay. It's a chance okay. that my theory might come out. And if I'm wrong, I you know, I, I was wrong. You know, there's nothing else I could do about it, you know what I'm saying? But I do want I do for some reason believe that this, my theory might be coming out, and that's probably why Walter Flynn is going so hard at Tommy. Hmm. I see what you're saying. You, in essence, believe in T Stream. Let me know if you're walking with Moochie down this primrose path. You, Moochie, believe Flynn is going so hard at Tommy because. He knows Tommy, in essence, would be the bloodline to step up because we both can assume he would be he would be the oldest male in that family unit. Exactly. He, he would be the one to take the mantle, where <laughs> Vic and Claude wouldn't be the ones to take the mantle. Is that what you're saying? Exactly. <clears throat> okay. T Streams, how you feeling about? It? Do you want to see an ending where Tommy is revealed that he's related to the Flynn family? Well. I put it this way, you know, if it if it still ends with him putting one or two or three, maybe four or five inside Walter, then that's you know it, it's fine. But it's like it's so not Tommy to me. You know what I'm saying? I, I I just I just don't picture Tommy as no you know no 
Tony Soprano sitting at the top of a family, you know, uh, because he's so, you know, he's street connected and, and his whole demeanor is something, you know, is something different from what that, you know, what that would pose for him. Uh, but if, you know, if it happens, it, you know, it, it happens, but golly, man, uh, Knowing Tommy, he'd probably go and probably dismantle it. I don't know, you know, because he, he's so used to his own, you know, he's so used to his own thing, you know. I think that if they went that approach, then it would be so far, you know, away from the, the character arc that they provided for him. Uh, right, right. But, you, I mean, you never know. You know, how many times have we set up and was like, like, really like, this might happen, this might happen, and then it fly off in a whole opposite direction so you know right if, if it happens you know i don't see tommy as no mob boss or something like that you know uh you know they can probably create an interesting story around it to you know for a spinoff for uh season two of force because after this hell everybody gonna be dead or either not wanting to fuck with tommy and so you know he gonna have to have some new enemies from somewhere you know power is <laughs> Power, power is all about the ops. So uh, that's right. So I would, you know, I would love to see what direction they they're gonna take it. But you know, is I don't know if anybody from the well, it's too late now. They didn't already finished filming. But it would be really, really nice if Tommy was the one that ended both Walter and his punk ass son. I want him to be the last face that I see for Gloria. Oh, he sounds stupid, <laughs> Bruh, You said the same thing. I was like, "This punk ass." And ladies and gentlemen, coming to the stage now, <laughs> one of the most famous divas, the diva of YouTube, is Nita. What's up, Nita? Hey, 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 you guys. Up, I'm doing you? good. I'm doing good. Sorry, I'm late. So we. Are you good? We just getting everybody's thoughts. And how did you feel about this past episode? And what are you expecting to see in the finale? Nita the Diva, oh. ladies and gentlemen. Nita the Diva. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everybody. <laughs> but no, um, really, for um force, I, I guess it's more is par for the course. Um, you know, I've kind of been uh, level with um what it is it's kind of average it didn't get me more excited it didn't get me less excited you know it was some things that just didn't make a lot of sense um entertaining yes but um yeah i'm just good on it <laughs> okay. all right well there you have it ladies and gentlemen nita's just good on it so there's some specific things i want to get you guys opinion on and I'll start with the crew on the bottom. So I'm going to start with you, Nita. Ben against Island. What the hell is he thinking? When is he going to handle business with white privilege down here? Just talk to me about that. <laughs> T-Streams, you next. Moochie, you going to end. All right. All right. So my, my thing about this uh, white cop that just kind of came out of nowhere, you, Seamus or Seamus or whatever his name is, Seamus got to know that whenever you start placating to demands there are going to be mm -hmm. more demands you know what i'm saying yeah. so that definitely did not strike me out of left field of what he was going to be doing it was just like okay you better get ready because he about to come with it so um i don't think i like the way he handled this situation i thought he was really going to um, do something to this white boy that you know either get some blackmail on him like there's a lot of different ways that they could have played this up to be more dramatic um, even mm -hmm. to the point of trying to get him set up just anything to make the police side a little bit more interesting or something but for him to go and Rob Diamond was kind of even if Moochie even said it even if um if when he put the gun to his head, if he would have made him do something, set him up or or put him on a course to do something that was, a, you know, a little bit that just raises the stakes. You know, everything just seems so even kill like, uh, OK, but yeah, I just wanted a little bit more. But I know it's going to be 
more and more and more where that came from. So Seamus is going to have to, he's going to have to um, draw a line in the sand. What you going to do? Are you going to keep on paying this man or are you going to make it come to an end? Mm-hmm. Cause um, T streams, all white privileged cop is doing is making it rain on somebody yacht with them French babes. That's what he <laughs> doing with that damn money. And T streams, how would you handle this business? If white privilege, y'all both police officers, he done found out that you getting money from a crime boss and now he's trying to extort you. I know you're going to answer near and dear to my heart. So tell the people what you would do if you was Ben against Island haircut. <laughs> well, let's just set the fact straight, everyone. I am from Detroit, Michigan. So, so, <laughs> so, so my, my, my attitude may be a little bit different towards this. All right. So, First of all, you know, when when power make bums, they they really go all out the way to make a hardcore bum. So this dude, Seamus, I've been calling him shamed ass or whatever, you know, but, you know, <laughs> uh, he got some options. You know, he got some options. There's no way in the world. All right. This other crooked cop comes up to him and tries to extort him. You know you dirty, he dirty as well. One mm -hmm. dirty cop, get rid of another one. That should have that really should have been the first thing on his mind. Who gives a shit about his sister and, and what illness she has or any of that? You know, this is a relative world. You know, what's good and work for you works for you. It don't necessarily work for me. Uh, so uh if that was me in that particular situation, whether or not I was five or not. By the way, I'd probably never be a never be a five zero. Um, <laughs> I'd have had to knock him off. I'd have had to knock him off, and I'm surprised. I'm I'm surprised uh, Diamond didn't do it. I mean, he sort of took that a little bit passively, you know. Came up out, you know, came up out the money, and then uh, doing a fifty extra bands for good measure. I don't like what the hell is this? Oh, where they, like, where do they do this? At? Yeah. These streams, I'm gonna have to stop you midstream because so, somebody said you fine as hell. They live in Detroit and they want you to take them out for dinner with not one, not two, but three <laughs> black hearts. My brother. Sound like some dark chocolate going on around this piece. But let me let me tell Lolo a thing. Lolo, you're gonna have to beat the hell out of my homegirl who already state claim to T-Stream internet prowess. <laughs> she know who I'm talking about that's down in the comments section. And Moochie, y'all know who I'm talking about that's down in my homie Tressa C. But I'm T-Streams, <laughs> go ahead and restart your stream again, my brother. Just want to let you know the people is watching. All right, man, let me fix my face up because I'm over here blushing and stuff. So <laughs> let me adjust my light. All right, anyhow, man, you know, I would have, thank you, by the way, uh Tressa got that locked down. Trust me. Lock. Lock and key. Lock. He has to he has to go. You know, he he definitely has to go. Is you know, is yeah, and, and I'm surprised dude he's been lurking around in the shadows as long as he has, you know, whispering in folks' ear, trying to do this and trying to do that. You ain't that heavy. I mean, you you a cop and all a dirty cop, but you still you still low on the food chain. Uh, so, mm. but uh, you know, uh, you no disrespect to any white people in here, but you know the the white boy got to go. You know he he got to go. He got to go. <laughs> Get rid of him. Yeah. Moochie, I'll let you finish it. Yeah, oh, go I ahead, mean, T Stream. I, I'm trying to figure out how they let this clown make it to the last episode. Man, he should have been. <laughs> Yeah, Moochie, before I let you finish this all, let me give T-Stream the rest of his groupie love. Savannah <laughs> oh, Rivers, she said, I wouldn't mind to give him a little taste. Damn. And she and her name is Savannah Rivers, Amore <laughs> Dupree. Mm. What kind of river she is? She ain't denied. You're getting, denied yo, you're getting a lot of love tonight. Hey, hey. You're getting a lot of love Appreciate tonight. That, man. <laughs> gotta, get, gotta give my man that love in Detroit. Now, Moochie, Finish this thing off for us, Moochie. What's going on with this guy? What's going on, white privileged cop? I think Wachowski is on the take with somebody else. Mm. Mm. <laughs> He's on the take with somebody else. And <laughs> <laughs> he's on the take with somebody else. And he's trying to shut him down before he get wind of 
who he's on the tape with. Shouts out to Gemini Don. I agree with you with that factor. He's dirty. He's been dirty. And he's just trying to like X out the other dirty. Yeah. Y'all get what yeah. I'm saying? 100%. 100%. 100%. I think Benedict because... needs to take him out though. Thank you. Like in, in order for you, and we'll get on after this, but let me summarize it. In order for you to go and proposition somebody with something that's crooked, this ain't your first time being crooked. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. I'm going to leave it at that. Now, Moochie, we're going to start with you on this one. We're going to go to you on this one. And I know T Streams is going to really, really enjoy this conversation right here. Moochie, I'm going to start with you in good old orbit eyes. Good old no. orbit eyes. <laughs> is we going to see any action from orbit eyes in the finale? And remember, he want these two little Negroes right here to come back with four bricks of Dahlia or the connect. What's going to happen with orbit eyes, Mooch? Is he going to start seeing straight or he's still going to be looking at two people at the same time? Let me find out that cousin buddy, a.k.a. orbit eyes. Is gonna end up killing his own cousin. What? What? Whoa! 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 Write Let that me down, Lamar. That well, ho, ho! Hey, look, you know I keep it right here. Let me, let me, let me see. Moochie I'm, I'm said, you, "I'm with you." I'm and T stream you, you with her too? Uh -oh. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Moochie plus T streams. Mm -hmm. Think, <laughs> buddy, gonna kill Marshall. Hmm. Or it might be the other way around. Who knows? <laughs> okay, you got it written down. Wait, I, I, <laughs> I mean, his you know, people that I don't like, I want to kill. And I like oh, Marshall. No. I mm -hmm. like Marshall. But I think it might get to a point where he, keep, keep in mind, this dude done fell and bumped his head with his eyes cocked. So, <laughs> yeah, he done fell and bumped his head to where his eyes cop, and he's not playing with a full deck. So it might be kill or be killed with between Marshall and him. Oh my lord! Neither I'm gonna swing your way. Then I'm coming to UT stream. Neither we talked about old orbit eyes getting a SSI check because remember he's military. He's fake ass military disabled and shit like that. So he already crazy. And I want to know why you're slanging you getting an SSI check. And the way that eyeball rolling, bro, that's got to be a big ass check. But <laughs> Moochie, what I mean, excuse me, Nita, how do you see this playing out with Orbit Eyes and his and Marshall? Well, if you want to know why Orbit Eyes is slinging, because you cannot work a regular job when you're collecting an SSI. So he won a little icing on the cake so he he mm. doing it like under the table so that's why he's doing that that too <laughs> but i don't think it's gonna be i don't think it's gonna be um orbit eyes i think it's gonna be Jannard for some reason with marsh that, uh, uh, <laughs> nita hold on i gotta get I think this it's Jannard, I but i do this. Marshall got a bullet waiting for him in the season finale for sure. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so so we all in agreement. Marshall is going to kick the bucket. Mm. I hope so. I don't like him at all. Okay. T strings finish, finish us off with orbit eyes or satellite eyes for you and um, <laughs> Marshall and D Mac. Man, you know, look. His demands was pretty specific, and that's not happening. He said he won't. He need four keys and a sit down with the plug. That ain't happening, you know. So, <laughs> so you know he. Hey, it is what it is, because that's definitely not happening. Not after all this stuff getting ready to go down, and then too, Tommy wasn't with it. No way. You know, my thing is, you know, I hadn't no, I hadn't seen this guy in uh in no other movie, so I'm trying to figure out is that a, is that a no? That's not his eye. Okay, because he's on yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the bus no. down. If you got Peacock, he's on the bus down too, and he's yeah. doing his thing on there. He's funny. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah he's funny yeah. for real. If if it, ladies and gentlemen, if it was his real eye, I wouldn't joke. That's his fake eye. He's on Peacock. 
He's known in the hood. A lot of people know this dude. He can act his butt off. He really can act his butt off. What this role he's playing right now doesn't require too much acting talent. I mean, hell, me and right. T Stream should have went for the audition, you know. But I mean, it is what it is. Super chat coming y'all way. This one's funny. Pretty girl loves trap content. Sent to nine ninety nine. She says, "Who's the worst cousin? Buddy, Faith from Soul Food, or Ebony from Players Club?" Oh, T Stream, who you got? I got Ebony. Yeah, that's I got <laughs> Ebony. I got yeah. Ebony too. Hands down. I got Ebony. I, yeah. I got Ebony. That, that wasn't even close. Pretty girl. Pretty girl loves trap content. Come back. Super chat again and give us another one because that wasn't <laughs> even close. <laughs> you know, oh, but I, I, I'm, I'm a work in progress. I don't know. I, I might laugh if it was, you know, if it, you know. So I'm just, you know, I'm still being worked on. You know what I'm saying? I'm still, I'm still being worked on. I'm just, I'm glad you said it's not his real hookup. So. Yeah, that's not his real eye. But, right. Because his eye, eye is not real. Yeah. He's the man. He's the man is not going to be met. So if if he's a, if he's a man of this if he's a man of his word, you know. If he's a man of his word, then he might try to, you know, they might throw him in in the finale for some, you know, for some type of filler action. You know, it's going to be a lot of shooting and stuff going on next week. So I don't know. Yeah. Now, and, ladies and, and fact, gentlemen. Oh, go, go ahead, Nita. No, I was just about to say, and the fact that D Mac will be in the hospital, he's going to be trying to find somebody. So he's going to be looking for Marshall. So that might be the target. So Moochie might be mm -hmm. right. Collateral damage with that one. Yeah, because he now, said he either want four bricks or he want to sit down with the plug. He didn't say both. So if they, mm -hmm. if he come with the four bricks, which we know Marshall is not. Right. Yeah. It's and then, but Denard the already kill. said that he had, he want their head too. So he, he that was the last thing that they and He got doing. two people gunning for him. Exactly. So it could be either mm. one. Mm. I'm going go to go on a limb. Tommy. They could. I'm going to go on a limb. I'm taking predictions right now. I'm going to say that as much as we've enjoyed picking on satellite eyes, I'm going to say he's going to kick the bucket. bucket. Okay. I, I, I think the kid going to take him out. He's a shooter at first. Ooh, he is okay. a killer. He's the actual mm -hmm. killer out of the two of them. Out of D-Mac and, and, uh, and Marshall, he's the actual killer. Mm -hmm. I agree with you. Put that I agree. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm booking it. Ladies and gentlemen, post your comments down below. Let us go ahead and get some more likes. We've got 500 people in here on a Tuesday night. We got a lot of ladies here to see tea streams. We got a lot of fellas here to see these beautiful chocolate and peach on one, one corner, peach down on the bottom. Let us get those likes. Subscribe to their channels. They put out great work. They work hard. Thank you. Thank you. Great members of the team. Check them out for what they're going to be doing over the next couple of months. Let me see here. I want to know what y'all feel about this chick right here because me and Moochie dropped some theories last night. Wow. Moochie, this is one of the few times me and Moochie disagree. Uh -oh. I think that this chick right here, when, when she accidentally saw Tommy talking to uh, Mucinex, I think she was going to meet up with the Serbs because maybe she put the hit on Glow. So I'm interested. I'm, Moochie, I'm going to come to you last. Nita, you first. T-Streams, you second. I Let me know what y'all think, Nita. Nita, I actually like that, and that would make a lot more sense because otherwise, mm -hmm. she was going there to do what? Like, it didn't make any sense. Like, she was running up there, like, she was going to do something. So, right. Right. that without would have a gun, been perfect. Without, that would have been with perfect. No gun. And it could, yeah, it could uh, um, plug in a lot of those plot holes that. You know, we're thinking about and trying to figure out what's going on because they're not showing us. So I, I actually like that. So I'm with okay. that. that I'm with that's it. right. That, that's that's see me and Nita. We right here. I'm Fuck Cam Newton. Right. But anyway, <laughs> uh, going down, going down there to T streams. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my bad. I know some of y'all women love Cam, and that's fine. You can like what you want. <laughs> I like freedom with my man and my woman. So go ahead, T streams. Take take the take the floor, brother. Well, you know, I didn't I never I didn't think of it that way, but when I first saw it, I was like, man, what is she here for? What what is she mm -hmm. what is she doing? Mm -hmm. it, it wouldn't it didn't dawn on me that 
that she possibly, you know, that it was even a possibility that she put the hit because for some reason, I, I, you know, I think, I think Walter was behind it, you know, and, you know, at, the more I watched it, I start, you know, start thinking the other guy may have had some parts in it too. So is, I mean, it's up in the air who actually, you know, who actually caused the hit, you know, but right, right. it's apparent that a few people had some words with Gloria. You know, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. the dad plus yep. her, so, you know, yep. uh, mm -hmm. Tommy. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I, yeah, but 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 Tommy was waxing on and waxing off. So I don't think yeah. that he was. Yeah, I don't think you, you got to be, you know, you got to be hardcore to get that in and then, you know. No, I mean, you gotta, Tommy, Tommy wouldn't do that. Tommy ain't do yeah. that. So, yeah. And so I would. Mm. It's something about her that I'm not that I am not clicking with because she, you know, she's trying to make too many moves and trying to put herself in a position that she's definitely not, you know, suited for. And then, you know, I can make things happen. And all, all right, bro. <laughs> do, do what you gotta do and catch one of these strays and, and we'll see you at the reunions and stuff like that. Golly. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got a record Tuesday night. We are at 550 people. We didn't even get that for Power Book 2. The most we got in um, Tuesday night was 525. And you all turned out to see this beautiful cast of creative, hot, and sexy people. And I got one more for you. And her name is... A letter that's just before L, and y'all know L is one of my favorite letters. It's Miss K. <laughs> hey guys. Hey, look at your princess bun. Huh? I said, look at your princess bun. <laughs> oh, I know. Miss K, Miss K, Miss K, down there looking lovely. Got gold, platinum, and stuff in your hair, and <laughs> ends is gold plated, and the bun gold plated. You Thank you. In my luxurious you. home? I mean, come on. Yes. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> As much as your hair matched the wall in your back. Yes. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Miss <laughs> K. I you came with the money it. too. Miss K, if you remember how back in the day at concerts, women would take their drawers off and throw them on stage? <laughs> You don't want to ask the question, do you? I I, re I I know about it. I've never done it, but I know about it. Yeah. I think <laughs> well, for the first time it. ever, for the first <laughs> yeah, time ever, it. it happened. They do? For the first time. Yeah, do. And for the first <laughs> time ever, Miss K, it happened on the internet right here. Four women tried to throw their draws at oh, T-Screens and then they, <laughs> they passed oh, yes. out. Right here, right here on the internet. They threw them and passed the fuck out. Just, Oh, God, take me, take me, T Streets, take me. I want some of your stream. Give me that stream, T. Stop it. Okay, you okay, need okay. to stop. I told, you, I told you I came in with the money. Eric Iverson got a super chat when I came in. I appreciate in. you, Eric, my brother, my brother, Eric. So, Miss K, give us your yes. opinion of this episode. And then after that, we're going to go straight to Moochie for her opinion of Claude. But tell us how you like this episode, your likes, your dislikes. Oh, I like the episode overall. Um, what's my likes? I like the the um any scene with D Mac and Tommy in it. I like them all. Okay. Um, of okay. course, I always love the scenes with um, what's this chick named L Liliana? That's my girl. I, Lily, Lamar, Lily. Yeah, her mm -hmm. and uh Tommy always. I did not They're like. Great. Yeah, and what I didn't like was how I spoke about this, but it's I don't know why I can't get it. What's her name? Claudia. I don't like how Claudia she she knew that it didn't sound like Tommy would order the hit on on Vic. Like she was just oh, saying Claudia. how everything doesn't make sense. Um and he's he couldn't see it even though the man gave him a decoy car and he wound up getting hit in his own car. And that's the same thing that Claudia pointed out to him. Like you didn't take the car he gave you and you got hit. Don't you think that's weird? You know? And she was putting all those things together, even though she don't even know Tommy like that. And then, um, but when she goes to see him with the Serbs, 
she gets all pissed off. But it's like, you got to, if you feel like you know Tommy just a little bit, you got to understand, you just told this man to watch his back. Thank so you. who else is he going to go to? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's mm -hmm. a little dislike. Oh, that Bennigan mm -hmm. scene, I didn't really, with him bopping my man upside the head like that. I ain't like that. <laughs> I no. I did laugh. Ain't none of us like it. I, I was so mad. I was like, bro, stop titty. making short, stop making short men look like bitches. He bopped them all up high. Did, yeah, man. I was like, bro. You know. He right. should have put him in a but, wheelchair. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> He probably ain't got real bullets in that gun in the first place. Old Bennigan's Island haircut. Ain't nothing going on with him. Now, Moochie. Now, Moochie. Let me line you up. That's what he dominated right. to say. That's need, that need to be one of his lines. Moochie, it ain't nothing to line up. His shit done went worse than LeBron James. He just need to go bald. Just cut it all off. Just stop mm -hmm. playing around. Now, Moochie, how you like my theory about Claude could have been the one to stage the hit on Glow? Finish that that thought off, then we'll get Miss Kay in on some action. I disagree. I feel like Walter Flynn is the mastermind of all of this. He's the mm. puppet master. He's mm. pulling all the strings. He knew how to mm. work his children. And mm. like I said before, when he when everybody was wondering why is he everybody going to his house to talk to him, half of this episode <laughs> is at his house. Do you remember that when everybody was saying that? Yeah, yeah. It's for yeah. the simple fact. Hmm. That Walter Flynn is a mastermind. He calculated everything off of everyone's answer. Once Tommy said, fuck, no, he's not going to get down with him. He said, then I can't wait to see your reaction to what happens with Gloria. And what did Tommy do? Run the one bit. Mm, he calculated mm -hmm. everything, yo. Mm -hmm. I don't think mm -hmm. Claudia is part of it. I feel like he knew if he pushed Vic hard enough where he gets pressed in the shootout, he's going to run home to die and be like, oh, they shot at me, dog. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> so, and, and what did he do? He ran right home to his daddy and told him they shot at me. Mm, 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 mm. Wow. Good theory, Moochie. Now, Miss K, let me give you something special. Mm, cause, cause when you get up here, you tend to you tend to bring this certain um this certain energy, this certain <laughs> laugh perspective, so to speak. So let me get you something <laughs> special. We already done picked on orbit eyes. Oh, we done no. picked on Claude. <laughs> uh let me see who else we can should oh. get Claude a little bit more. Oh, let, 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 huh. Let's talk about Polly. Now, for the longest okay. time, I thought Polly could have been the mole. I'm mm -hmm. officially ready to say he's not. No, so, what no. are your thoughts on Polly at this point in the story? I think Polly's kind of just he's sitting back, feeling like he's losing his position in terms of, you know, that reeling his guy in. You know, I think mm -hmm. he's kind of like the voice of reason for um, uh, uh, Walter, but Walter has gone over his head and, and not saying over his head because Walter is the head, but I'm talking about when it comes to, you know, just seeking his advice and everything like he done put, he planned out this whole hit. And I, that's what I'm saying. I, I, I you know, um, I'm one of those that believe that Walter did this and he plans out this whole hit. Knowing that he's already going to call the four horsemen mm -hmm. and he doesn't normally, if you're going to do something that big, you're going to talk to your um, consigliere about it. He didn't talk to him right. about it. He already called them and then told Paulie that he called them. And Paulie's like, what? You know, like that's, mm -hmm. that's a big deal. Yep. Hopefully they make, that's a big deal. Hopefully they make it a big deal. Because <laughs> everything, a lot of times, they be, it, it sound good. The four horsemen sound strong. Sounds like like a force to be reckoned with. And then, like we was talking about, they probably going to get killed next uh, episode. the In the first few minutes. By you Tommy. All of yeah. them. By Tommy. Like how to Miss serve. Miss K. Miss <laughs> K. You ain't trying to say the four horsemen is the four of my little ponies. Four what ponies, you trying to say, yes. Miss <laughs> yes. The power my little little pony. Pony. <laughs> That's exactly what they <laughs> Yo, me and you was on the same page. Like, no, little pony. 
damn it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let me, let me shout out this super chat from Troll Farm Buggy. Appreciate hey, that Troll. five dollars, my brother. He says, Good evening, folks. Claudia putting herself in position to get clapped. Are you talking about depth or getting them booties clapped? Oh, she yeah. Ain't need you know, we use that. that and down. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. She can't sit still like she's on Adderall. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Wow. She's, yeah. She's, uh, yeah. I, I is, called yeah. that like episode yeah, Which is four the reason five. why I don't think she had anything to do with um Glow. I think that would be a, a interesting twist, but I don't think they did enough with that. You know what I'm saying? Hey. That's just on some... That's on some if random I, book. I wouldn't honestly. I wouldn't appreciate that writing. I'm not gonna lie. Well, get ready to be. Get ready to be <laughs> upset. Get ready to be <laughs> upset. Why? Um, because I think it's gonna happen. Nita, get on <laughs> in here, man. Talk to me a little bit about Paulie and what you feel about Paulie, and then um, Miss um, Mucci, you next. Then T streams, you in. You know, T Strings had me. He had me a little bit with his theory about Paulie, but as far as I can see, I don't see the wheels turning with Paulie. Paulie doesn't seem like he's three steps ahead of everybody. Mm -hmm. So um I'm gonna go ahead and, and yeah. you know he's playing his position um from as far as I can see. I don't I you know it would have been great, but it just doesn't look like it with the writing. But I think K said something very, very telling that Walter went over his head, and that proves Moochie's point that he's the mastermind. Like he has all this stuff, like you know, based on the answers and based how things played out and stuff like that. That you know, I think it. I think Paulie is loyal. He's loyal. He's to be trusted. He's playing his position. Um, his position may be threatened. But not really. I don't think so because of the other guy. The other guy died. Simon died. So if yeah. Vic was to take the place, he doesn't have anybody. So I think he would still fall back on Polly because Polly has the wisdom, the experience, <laughs> and stuff like that. So okay. yeah, right. I think he's All good. Right. T Strings, how you feel about the four of my little ponies? <laughs> oh yeah, <they're> right, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know you gotta call the hitters in. You got to call it his, uh, you know, uh, their their impact, who, you know, who knows? Uh, I see they got their long range sniper rifles with them. So, you know, uh, who, kn who knows what type of damage they're going to they're going to uh, they're going to bring. But we also got to remember that on the opposite side, they putting together a force, too, and they are aware that they're in town. And right. So, right. And this is where I think this is where I think Paulie may even play a part in, because to me, Paulie has probably been one of the ones that's been exercising the, the most, the most sense, and you know, possibly even uh, wisdom and judgment calls throughout, you know, on that side of the on that side of the family. And I believe somebody said it already in the uh, in the comments, but you remember when. Tommy and Paulie first met, you know, and he, you know, they, it seemed like it was going to be Rocky, but Paulie actually took somewhat of a, of a liking to him. So I think that, that he's probably going to be the glue that binds all this stuff together. Once all this mishap goes on, uh, going to be the, be the one that's set to try to, you know, get things back in, back in order. Um, as far as, as far as the shooters, you know, they look good and all, but uh, he said, uh, Paulie said something very, very interesting to him. He said, you're going to have to stick with her if you want to survive Chicago. So he let he pretty much let them know that, hey, we know y'all good at what you do, but you here in the streets now. Nah. Welcome to Chirac, bums. And so, oh, oh. Yeah, so now it's about to, so now it's about to be all out war. I think some of them going to go, you know, going to go down. Some of them might, you know, might knock off some, you know, really <clears throat> characters. You know, I, I don't think uh, I don't think Liliana and I don't think Tommy is going to be touched at all. You know, and I think the doctor might get knocked, but, you know, I don't they know got anymore. they got. I don't JP know, out. man. She she smooth with it now. Yeah. She's taking her check. She's taking her money yeah. and moving she it on. She's the business. Yes. 
Like, okay, no. got my money. Yep, no, no, no more than ten thousand. I know it's the routine <laughs> yeah. now. Yeah, one, yeah. did one you one see the way she said that? One of the reasons I said that is because I in the the clip for the next episode they hit the they hit the lab. Oh, oh the yeah. lab. You mean they like, did. you mean like as a casualty of war she gonna die, yeah. but not by like Tommy and them. I no, yeah, see I don't, that. I don't, no, yeah. see, Tommy and them not gonna do that. You know, yeah, I think I can she's see probably that. gonna be collateral damage in something because mm -hmm. she's definitely not no shooter. She's not even a drug dealer, so to speak. Yeah, but <laughs> but T Streams, did you see who was protecting her? I will hire Liliana before I hire a man to protect my ass, and that's who was protecting the doctor. That's, great body, just, that's hey, my boozy about, right there. Li Lily about that action, bro. Yeah, now yes. it's Moochie's turn. Moochie, right, get on in here, man. You gotta ask the question again so I can cover all bases. <laughs> Holy! Shouts out to Eric you... Wright. Your mother was in precious. Ew. <laughs> Right, so, no, I, I just part. saw that and I blocked them. I just went back and saw all that. Right. I told y'all, y'all got it. Precious, though, you know, I'm not your mother. I'm not your oh, mother. I didn't even know what she was saying, baby. I'm sorry. I, <laughs> yeah. I'm just over here laughing because you just came out of nowhere with that. I was just like, yeah. okay, right. I don't know what that was about. <laughs> thank you, everybody in the chat. Yeah. I thought that was a quote that I didn't know about. Yeah, thank you, everybody no, in the no. chat. Damn. The four all right, all right, leave it alone. The, four, the four horsemen of the chat just handled somebody. If you That's really want right, to see handle them, baby. Go, to, go to war, you need to be in the super chat section over here because the four horsemen <laughs> on the Life Game channel just went to war on somebody. That's how you handle it. <laughs> they Don't call them the little ponies. Moochie, take it away. What you got, right. Pauly? What, what do you expect to see with him in the finale? Okay, remember, I think this is going to do with the cliffhanger. <clears throat> Remember my prediction, my theory. Right. Paulie's gonna get jammed up because of his son. He's a loyal uh -oh. dude, but he yep. loves his son. Hmm. And he knows he doesn't know that Walter Flynn finagled all of this, but he's kind of almost there when he said, You got a spring in your stride, even though your son had an attempt on his life. Mm -hmm. So I believe he knows that Walter Flynn kind of orchestrated all of this. And I believe he's he's still gonna be a loyal dude because either way, if Walter Flynn die, he's still gonna be Vic's consigliere. Right, right. So his his spot is secured. Right, right. I don't 100%. think he felt threatened by that. So Moochie, you think they're gonna bring the son back after about five episodes? They, they didn't him even absolutely. allude to him at all. I promise you, y'all. I promise you, absolutely. they're gonna bring him back. I know they are. But for Listen, the season, remember, he not... said he was away, right? Huh? Remember when he was telling uh? Remember, okay, do you remember when Walter? I mean, when Paulie went to Vic's house to warn him about Tommy, and they was talking mm -hmm. about his son, and he said he's away. I believe he's gonna come back. They're gonna get at him at the rehab, and we're gonna see something pan out from that. This okay. is my right. prediction. I could be wrong. Mm -hmm. And if the writers drop the ball with something like that, they need to they need to hire me, Miss K, and Lamont to get up in there. I'm just yeah. saying. We go, we're gonna have to go to writing school with them because some of this stuff we could throw together for sure. Yeah. I see them for saving sure. that for next season though. That's yeah, what I, 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 I see, like I said, oh, yeah, I see yeah, it yeah, being yeah, a cliffhanger. Yeah, if, if it's yeah, not yeah. a cliffhanger, if it's not a cliffhanger, <laughs> we are going to see this further yeah. more. Remember yeah, I said it's going to sure. take time for that theory to mm -hmm. develop. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because season two, for sure. they got to get him straight first. Mm -hmm. He was yeah. rock bottom. He's like with the homeless people. He's going to come mm -hmm. back. Like I said, if you see this dude come back with a suit, clean cut and everything, he's yep. with the feds. Not, yeah. But I was about to say, Moochie, not only that, but the, the feds already tried to squeeze Paulie. And do you really think they done? They not no, done. but no. they watching his move, though. That's why I'm right. saying they want to go after the sun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yep. for sure. Not for season finale, but for season No, two. not no, for no, season no, no. finale. Right, I, always, right, I, I, right. I always said it's going to take time for this theory to develop. Right, right. For the simple yeah. fact, right. they got to get that kid clean. Yeah, I said that. Too. And he he got a he got to gain his father's confidence back. So now for the last few minutes we got, it's time for us to play our favorite game. <laughs> death predictions on Lamont's note card, and I'm gonna get some of the fans' death predictions. Then I'm gonna do something extra. I'm gonna get a cliffhanger from everybody 
on this show to see who is right next week when we come back. Starting with you, my sister down there on the bottom, Miss K. Oh, Give me two, two death predictions for this season finale. Everybody get two. Um. Okay, two. Uh, dang it, I had I had three, but all right. Well, get rid of I'm one of them. Don't kill I'm one of them now. Okay, I won't kill one of them now. <laughs> um, I will say Vic. And, Wait. um, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, okay. well, it was between him and right. his, it was between him and his sister. So I wanted to, I, I chose him okay. instead. And then okay, my other Vic. one that I'll, that I'll say is Marshall. Uh, everybody on this panel picking Marshall except me. Okay. Yeah, Marshall gone. Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. okay. Ladies and gentlemen. And Marshall and cousin I. Oh, can I, can I add? Oh, no, no, no cliffhanger. No, I'll wait for the cliffhanger. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, we're going to come back for you in a minute. Uh, and ladies and gentlemen, we're doing our death predictions. I got my note card. <laughs> Miss Nita, who you got for death predictions? I got, I got Marshall for sure. Can we not count Marshall? him? Because no, I think he everybody counts. already said. Huh? No, he counts. He got okay. to be one. Either you, <laughs> either you gonna take him off. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you can take him off. You can take him off if you want to. You can take him okay. off. No, no, no. So, I, I definitely want him on because he he definitely got a hot one coming. Okay. And okay. I want to say, <clears throat> I want Vic to die, but for some reason, I don't think he will. So I'm gonna go out on a limb and say. Diamond. No. No, Jesus. No. 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 Well, they need to show me something. They're going to have to show me something. If you if you're not going to kill him off, he got to show and prove. Because otherwise, no, no. he can go. He can go, no, I, y'all. What is I he come doing, to y'all. y'all. What is he I doing? come to y'all for my my. my enlightenment of what the young people are saying in the hip world right now. And I think this is what they would have said to you, Nita. The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Diamond? Are you serious? Look, no, let me tell you something. Jesus, Nita, no! Nita, be- before Diamond, before Diamond would die, I would see Secret Lover dying. Adrian, the reporter before he died, but... It's in- inconsequential. Don't nobody care about her? Oh. I want I want somebody that's major. But you if we let you tell the story, you don't care about Diamond. Well, Diamond gotta do something. And then Diamond and Vic. No, I won't say Diamond. They not doing you nothing. Knock off Diamond, Rose won't be able to come back. Then my theory won't come out. <laughs> well, you know what, Moochie? Unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, people be always in my comment section talking about Rojo's already dead. No, he's not. He ain't dead. Yet. He ain't he dead. dead. T streams. Come on, my brother. I got I got the list. All right. So here, here, here we go. Now don't slay me for this, all right? <laughs> oh but, hell. Yeah. Oh hell. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say Jannard. Oh, I, gonna, okay. I'm going to be more specific, and I'm going to say Jannard via Diamond. Oh, mm. all right. I don't know if he got the heart to do it. He, <laughs> it ain't in him. Wouldn't that he could do it, yo? Wouldn't that be something? It ain't in him. Now, the, uh, the one time, nice the one time we see him get busy is on his brother. Oh my god! Hey. Nah. Say he took a deep cut to the heart when he was standing at that door. Uh-huh. He took a deep cut. From that, he knew that that right that conversation right there really just reaffirmed that little lifted eyebrow that he was that he got when he was actually cutting his brother hair and he was like CBI started with you is going in with you. And That's to him, you know, <laughs> I'm in in that life in that life, that's not uncommon. Okay, it's very, it's very not uncommon, especially when you get that in between, folks. And then his brother straight think the man a hoe. Like, like he, 
-hmm. He has no rule of authority. You know, I mean, he Diamond took a very deep cut to the heart when he sat there and heard that. And, I double did him. I uh, double did him. I triple did him. I want it. I want it. But I don't be having it. That would be Damn. that would definitely it would definitely be a conversation piece. So you make sure you I, jot I, that down. Man. I got my wish with with uh with Walter. You might get your wish with Diamond Girl. Okay, okay. And then and then and all right, let me shut up. Go ahead. And then Moochie. Oh, I'm sorry. Second, I, 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 oh, I need my one. You you I already got two. You you picked Marshall. Marshall. Oh, got okay. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. So oh, let okay. Me, let me oh, get okay. This all right, yeah, we did say, all right, all right we good. We you did said Marshall. Marshall. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, all right, um, Mucci, we down right. to you. We Can you just refresh me on what I said about my first prediction earlier in the show? Earlier you said you thought Marshall was going to die, but then when I gave you my prediction of satellite eyes, I could line, see you said, Marshall taking you, him out. So, so, you, so you down for satellite I, eye. Okay. Cuz I want Marshall to stay on the show. Okay. I think cousin so we got I, two. I think I think this yep. kid might take out his cousin because that kid is a shooter. Yeah, he is. He a shooter. Okay. All right. And who, now, who's number 2? Number 2, I want to say Janar and I want to say JP going to get a body. <laughs> I'm just saying look. Don't be surprised. Wait a minute. You serious? You taking Janelle? <laughs> yeah. He like, said, "You serious?" Yeah, serious. Look, That's I think serious... he goes. Look, Janelle is the Christy Lofton is going around on all the shows. He's going. He's going on. He going. Yeah, he remember, I spoke Janelle. to you the other night about this. He's, a one he's, he's, he's gonna be on. Uh, he's gonna be on the show that I do, which is called Animal Kingdom with the Surfers. So, yeah. Yo, yeah. I think. You know, I might die. I could be Damn. wrong, but I could be right. Anywho, and then the third person. Serious gamble. It's only two. Third it's person. Only two. Look, look, only I'm two. giving you number three. It's oh, gonna well, be, it, look, ain't, it ain't going on this paper. Look, it ain't going on this paper. You can give a third, but it ain't going on this look, paper. But okay, but I, it's, I, it's still, at the end of the day, it'll still be I told you so. <laughs> If it ain't going yeah. on that paper, Mark my if words. You, if you play the lottery enough, well, you're going to win. is dying. I don't know if Ooh, Diamond going to do white it. Cop. The white, the white cop. cop. I don't know if white Diamond going to do it. I don't know if Finnegan going to do it. But it's going to be, he going to die. He got to die. I, I he thought of that too. But he's more, so, more, 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 more. he's so, um. Doesn't like, make a difference. He's, yeah, he's so nobody. Yeah, like, that's me. Yeah, well, I look. I don't like it. I I like your Janard one better because it's it's big. Yeah, it's a risk. Yeah. I, I don't know, know about that green old cop. They always take out a nobody. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, you already yeah. know he's gonna he's gonna be one of those nobodies where it's like you Which know is why he's dead well, the forever. innocent is already gone. They took Gloria. She's yeah. she was the innocent. So and technically Marshall could be considered a nobody. I mean, hell, Orbit Eyes could be considered <laughs> a nobody. Technically, I mean Unless you like people that can see her around the world in two oh minutes. I mean, <laughs> technically. East but, to the West. Um, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, we've got 625 on a Tuesday night. Let me give y'all a clap, man. I appreciate all you people that come to check us out. We are grateful. Be sure to come back when power is over with because we're still going to be getting together doing shows. There's going to be a great group of shows coming out. Some of them nerdy. Some of them got a little bit of display to it, but stick with us. So my prediction, number one, I'm giving you satellite eyes. He's gone. You know what? It's time to go ahead and let that eyeball go back to the makeup case it came from. His oh ass is dead. Okay. <laughs> um, and I'm surprised nobody picked anybody from the Flynn family except for K. K. Yeah, and I said Miss Vic K. too. I was like Vic or Diamond, because neither See, one. That doing nothing. Which, which <laughs> one you want me to take off the list now? Which one? Which one? Because I got you officially down for Marshall and Diamond. Which one you want me to take off the list? I'm gonna keep it. Okay. I'm gonna keep it. For some reason, I think they want to keep Vic for whatever. I don't know. I, don't I, do, too. I do too. Vic I do too. I do too. I think they want to keep Vic. So for me, it's got to be somebody, Claudia, but. 
It's it's got to be somebody in that Slim family. It's got to be. Yeah. And if I'm going to pick one, I'm going to go on the limb and I'm going to say Walter. I'm going to say Walter. I'm going to say I'm Walter. Thumbs up to that. I'm good with that. I'm, <laughs> I'm say that. Even though I like the actor, I love the actor. I love him too. Yeah. I love I'm, him too. I, I do. Look, people okay, are already complaining too. about Sons of Anarchy and he likes how the, the professionalism of the sure. work atmosphere at um power. Yeah. So right. Don't so don't be surprised if, if you, see you, know, you might see him get shot, it'd be a cliffhanger. Yeah. yeah. And they'd be oh, like, oh. Will it will Da pull through? We'll see <laughs> next season. <laughs> yeah. I'll just say I like that, Moochie. I like that. So, ladies and gentlemen. We've still got 610. When we're done in about five minutes, there's going to be an after party with these beautiful, beautiful people you see. <laughs> They're going to be on Miss K's channel. So if you enjoy beautiful, clean teeth, you enjoy pecan, <laughs> cinnamon, and peach-colored skins, go check out Moochie, Nita, and Miss K on her channel in about 10 minutes when we're done here. My last yeah. question to this panel. One cliffhanger will start with you. Um, Nita will end with Miss K. <laughs> T streams, you'll be after Nita, and Moochie, you'll be after T streams. Okay, so for me, it's Kate, it's Kate, it's Kate, Kate is coming, Kate will be here. Kate is the yes. cliffhanger, yes. and I got her coming the last five minutes. I don't have her being in the whole episode, I got her coming like the last five ten minutes just to stir some okay. shit up love it love it i was gonna say that but now i'm gonna have to make up something else in the next three minutes um t strings what you got man yeah she she she, she cliff hung all of us because everybody was saying everybody been sitting here saying that okay yeah kate coming around, kate coming around. but so you know since that's out since since that cat is out the bag let's uh let's go with <laughs> JP, they're gonna show JP's true thug side. Okay, so are you saying he's gonna catch a body, or are you saying he's gonna pull the trigger? What you saying? He's he's going into all out demon time mode. Oh, yeah. JP going hood. Okay, <laughs> I could see gotcha. that though a little bit. I can see it too. Yeah, because you saw the way. Throughout this whole season, we've never seen this man with his glasses off until his son was in the hospital. And them chicks came to fuck off. Pew, forget. <laughs> and he got that. He on. got that. He got that. Um, that Egan stare in him. That death stare he that do. Tommy be giving. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He, do. he He got do. that in and him. I said, I think he, he got that. Tell <laughs> he got that in him. And if he mm. want to go Mufasa with his voice, he can certainly do that. Simba, <laughs> eat your ass. <laughs> anyway, Moochie, what, what you got? All right, I predict a cat fight with Claudia. You know, I like to see cat fights, y'all. I like I that. Was, I want Claudia and Lily. Yeah, yes. like Billy, I'm gonna bust her ass. I don't be talking about cliffhangers, but I had to get this out of the oh. mouth. <laughs> <Like, laughs> you be breaking rules. Moochie. It was like hot sauce. Yes, I broke the Moochie. God. You Moochie. always breaking rules. Yes, I misbehaving tonight. Rules tonight. Oh. You be misbehaving, girl. I'm so frustrated. 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 I
Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Nita. Wait a minute, Nita. Really, I'm a, really I'm going to win that fight oh, every time. I'm drinking. No, it's just me unless, I'm excited. Yeah. Unless, unless, unless we keep we keep Claude in the room with knives. Because that's her weapon oh, of choice. Yeah. But I don't know. She, I, don't think she, I, don't think she, I don't think she got it with a uh, little. Remember? We saw that, that action Look. in that car with that serve, right? And Remember Lily, she, she sliced up somebody Look, in the beginning Lily of the season. Lily's good with the knife, too. She Puerto Rican. She gonna, she gonna be ready to get it on, y'all. Yeah. No, but listen, remember, remember what she said. I got this right here. I got this. I got this. Like she was talk. She was showing all her little war war, war wounds. Not all of that. Like so she don't she mind. She could take it. I could take a bullet. I could take a break in my finger. <laughs> I could take a knife. <laughs> I'm, really in tunes. I'm really in tune. I'm really in tune. That's nothing, Tommy. <laughs> Don't worry, I was you know already ready to beat her ass because they were talking about beating her ass without leaving no bruises. <laughs> I got I gotta get I got to get Lily. I gotta get Lily on this. I gotta get Lily on my show for an interview. I got to get Lily yeah, on this. Please do. Oh my god. All right, now, I, I know I went off track. Oh, you you yeah, gotta man. be in so Lily. <laughs> Lily and Claude fight. Now you we got Miss K. Misbehaved. Look, look, look. I had to get it out. It that you didn't even go to the daggone cliffhanger. Listen, it was two questions ago, though. Give us your cliffhanger, girl. My cliffhanger is. I already said my cliffhanger. It's going to be Paulie. Oh, yeah, son. you did. You did. Yep. You and, did. and we already know Kate is coming. Yeah. Kate is like coming. It. And watch, my theory's going to come out next season. Tune in, y'all. Mm -hmm. I like okay. it. Okay. All right. Miss K, you get you get to be the cleanup woman. Even though I like Muji's cliffhanger of all, of, of above all, with the sun coming with the suit on <laughs> clean. <laughs> I would say my cliffhanger would be that after one of the Flynn's get killed, they find out that Walter was the one behind this whole freaking thing. And this will be my theory coming to pass because I made a theory asking, will Walter kill Glow about mm -hmm. a month ago? Check and that I broke out. Down, she did it in the beginning. Yeah, and I broke down all the reasons he had in all those, all the moments, like, I think two or three moments where he decided, I got to take this girl out. And I'm going to put Tommy in the middle of this whole, you know, in the middle of the whole thing. But there was some, um, I think somebody made a point. I think it was Brillo because people were saying, if he kills um, Glow, he's going to have friction between him and his son. And Brilla was like, not if he makes it look like Tommy did it. And I said, yes. And that's exactly what's going on right now. So I feel like the cliffhanger would be that they're going to find out that he is going to, um, that he was behind all this. Mm -hmm. But it's during the time that, let's, I'm going to give you somebody. Let's say it's uh, Claudia over um, uh, Vic's dying body. They find mm -hmm. out after this that the father was behind all of this. So now yeah. it's a double <laughs> kick in the heart because you don't lost the brother for no reason over some stuff that the father done started. And that's my cliffhanger. Okay. So <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, to get us out of here so, so these ladies can get to their well, show. Go more, ahead, I got one more thing. <laughs> um, I, just, I got one um, more thing. I wanted to ask you, I wanted to ask your people something That's if it's all right. I presented it to, to my people yeah. and I didn't get Go a response. Ahead. So all right. So guys, uh last year I created Streams Vision, which is a film and production company. Nice. All right. And so I was hoping to start filming and shooting this year. And you know, across my platforms, I uh, put out that we were looking for scripts. Now, some of you are very, very crafty and come up with some pretty good, nice ideas. So I'm in the market to buy scripts and uh, I'll probably, I don't know exactly what I'll spend, but I'm, I'm figuring I'll probably spend a couple of thousand up to 10,000 for the right script. And, um, you know, if, if you are a writer and you, you know, you would like to, you know, you would like to participate in this, uh, just, send me a synopsis of your idea and you know the the synopsis the general characters and the, the flow you know a basic flow don't have to be anything long 
and don't have to be uh, I'm not asking for full scripts or anything because we have people that's that's professional that can take it and polish it up and get it back to me in script form. Uh, yes. So apparently I won't be able to make my April, my April and May uh, shoot time. But hopefully by sending it out to the months, people, maybe it's somebody out there in the audience that loves to write and have some nice ideas. Pitch them to me. Uh, you can send them to my email. And uh, if you don't have my email, uh, Lamont has it, or you can yeah. reach it or find it out through my uh, through my YouTube page. But anyhow, I'm in the market. I'm searching for scripts, all right? And uh, nice. I'm looking for something either either film or series. It, it don't it don't really matter, and uh, we'll just take it from there, all right? Nice. So just hit, just hit. Nice. If you don't, you can't find his link, which is in the video description. Just hit me on uh, just hit me on IG, get a life gains, or you can hit me on Twitter with a message. I'll make sure he get it. And don't be surprised if this man get a script from some of these people. And uh, what he's talking about is that he will also take a spec script. That's when you have an outline for an idea, but you need people to fill in the dialogue. He's looking at that too. So let the man know something, folks, and get back to him. Moochie, what you got? Okay, this is the last thing I'm gonna say. <laughs> and this is with the cliffhanger, and it's with tag. Y'all don't make me wait so long. Look, it's with <laughs> no, it's gonna end with a cliffhanger, but it's gonna be with you know what? Maybe now, Muji, don't you steal no more of my stuff. <laughs> you already made me go to my third yours. Plan. I'm not stealing nothing of yours, <laughs> but it is gonna be a cliffhanger. <laughs> <laughs> with the kid, <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna just do a video about it, and I'll and, and I'm gonna leave it at that. Okay. I'm so, gonna leave it at ladies that, ladies and gentlemen. Look, we look, we going on Miss K's channel. Y'all need to come on over there. Yeah, because I had to just push it back to like 10:20. But go ahead. Look, we gonna okay. be there at 10:20 talking about the wire, mm -hmm. and it's a good episode. So my my cliffhanger, ladies and gentlemen. I did a video on wood cliffhanger that I think is gonna happen. And that is Adrian, since her ass is in love with Diamond, she's going to turn her attention on getting the story and getting the kingpin to Tommy. She's going to do mm -hmm. her digging, figure out that that man was a <laughs> former kingpin. She's going to see that tooth and all that stuff. That's who she's going to turn her attention to because she's in love with that Diamond chocolate. But if okay. that happens... I got it now, y'all. Go oh, Lord, go ahead. Remember the cliffhanger <laughs> we had with Ghost? Who was in the cliffhanger? Blanca Rodriguez. Oh, Lord. oh Tommy Egan is alive. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> okay. See, okay. see they, that's they, why they, you can't let Moochie. <laughs> that's why you can't let Moochie do too much talking. Because if you let her go, she's gonna a dead clock is right twice a day. She's gonna get something right. So I'm Moochie, you, you she you coming talk? on? She coming on? You took half my theory, Moochie. That's why I won't go let you talk. So we don't need her. Say, you should have did the. This is what you should have did. Yeah. We don't because need she's her. Kate. Maybe she's going to be following Kate. You know. Let me finish. Her. My cliffhanger is going to be. It was going to be part um, Blanca, but since Moochie already done said that, the person and the, the group of people I thought was going to come and help Tommy, we haven't seen them. So my cliffhanger is we're going to see two bit pop up sometime Ooh. at the end of this series to help restart <laughs> things with Tommy. So there you go. That I got might two be up in this piece. Oh, I guess. Everybody may ask <laughs> if you don't want you don't want to see too big. Be quiet. Look at her. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're out of here, man. Thank you for letting us entertain you. I don't want to see no too big. Shout know, out right? to my people in New York. I hope we was able to any of you that are going through pain tonight. I hope that this hour and some change was able to kind of just take the pain away for a little while. I know it's not going to ultimately solve your problem, but we're here for you. Our hearts is with you. Condolences till that next Sex is Hell video, which will be Thursday, Snowfall, then Thursday with this same crew. I mean, Friday, Friday. with this same crew for Snowfall. We'll see you yeah. guys. See you guys.